Hi, this is your instructor Chris, and today I'm just going to show you a little bit more about the assignment in Lesson 5 and how I go about solving it. And I'll explain the code a little bit more as well. So if you're currently working on Assignment 5 and you don't want to, uh, the answers to be spoiled, pause this, then you can come back later and check your work. The first assignment is just to open up the code and then change the color incrementing part of the code, which is right here. So the assignment is to locate that and then replace it with this new code. So there's the new code and I'm going to comment out the old, the old code. Now the differences here are that we're just, we've switched things around. So instead of every time you go through the loop, you add one to the value of color, which is what this statement does. Now each time through the loop, you subtract one from the value of color. So the first time you go through, color will be set to, if color already is zero, it'll be set to light.length minus one, which t is the length of the light array, which in this case is six. One, two, three, four, five, six and then subtracts one to get the highest number in the light array, which is five, which has a value of orange. So it'll be set to orange the first time through the auto flip loop. And then the next time it'll say, is color greater than zero? Yes, it is. So we'll subtract one. So now color is equal to three, which is, well, no color would be equal to four, which is green. And then it'll go through again and I'll keep subtracting until it gets to zero and then it'll go back up to five. Now in order for this to work correctly, we really should take the line that actually sets the background color and put it after the color statement here, the color uh, change. So let's save that. And then we'll go into Google Chrome, refresh, and click auto. And now it starts at the last color and goes back to the first. And the next assignment in the lesson five is to make the auto flip function only flip to every other color in the light array. Well, let's, whoops. Let's go back here and just stop this. So we learned that right here, this is the color decrement statement. So the minus minus means subtract one from the value. And that correlates to the colors here in the light array. Now, if we want to do every other color, then what we need to do is subtract two from the color each time through the loop, so it'll skip. So all we need to do for that is to say color equals color minus two, or you could say color minus equal to, or you could even say color minus minus followed by another color minus minus. And that'll subtract two each time through. So we'll save that and then go back to the browser, refresh, and now it'll skip colors. The third part of the assignment is the tricky one. It says to use document.getElementById.innerHTML to display the name of the current background color. And then there's the hint. So what we're going to do is we're just going to modify an element in the document to display the current color each time that we go through a loop or when the color changes. So first, we just need to create a place in the document where we're going to display the color. Let's do it right here underneath the what's this header. And we'll put a div and we'll call it, we'll say ID equals display color. And you don't need to put anything in this div. This is what we're going to be manipulating inside of the loop. So we call it display color. 
And then in my hint, I said, if you use this document get element by ID, my text dot inner HTML equals some other text, it will change the value of that, um, that element to this text. So we're going to set this to the element ID that we just created, which is display color. And then here, we'll leave this at some other text just to demonstrate. Go back to the browser, refresh, and we'll click the on. And then it puts some other text inside of that div. But what we want it to do is to display the current background color. So go back here, and we see that right now the current background color is set using light which way. So to get that, and display it on the page, you can just put light which way here in the value. And then we'll save this, and go back, click on, and there it is. Current background color is white. Now if we go back to our text editor, we can use this same line inside of the auto flip function. But here, the auto flip function uses a different uh, parameter name for the light array. So we're going to do this and paste light color there and save. Then we'll go back to the browser, refresh, and click auto. Now you'll notice that it occasionally hits undefined. And that's because it's going to a value that doesn't exist in the array. And there are a couple solutions to that. One solution is just to have the array have an even number so that we never have a situation where subtracting two from color, such as when color is equal to one, will make color negative. Another way would be to do a check for if color is negative. Another way would be to say, is color greater than one? So that we'll never have a situation where subtracting two from color will result in color being negative. Another way uh, would be just to go back to only subtracting one at a time. And that's what we'll do here just for simplicity. There it is. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have other questions, and I will be happy to help you out.